Robin from Rainbow Gardens here. And you've probably seen around town right now, lots of crepe myrtles blooming. Come check out the variety of colors and sizes that we have. Please be sure to check out the signage. There are so many different kinds of crepe myrtles. You can find some with a different color leaf, uh, a darker leaf, different color blooms, different sizes. Some are super, super tall and some are really wide, some are short. It just depends and so many different colors and they just bloom profusely in the summer. Fall planting season is just around the corner so you can pick one of these babies up and see it in full bloom so that you know what you're buying and then take it home, protect it and then get it in the ground in the fall. Crepe myrtles are revered for their colorful blooms, but if you're thinking about purchasing one, there is more to know about them than just their lovely flowers. This flyer kind of shows what we mean. You can see variety, height, spread, color, disease resistance, if fall foliage color will be present, and form, which is the shape of the crepe myrtles growth habit naturally allows for. Perhaps the most important of these is size at maturity, followed closely by growth habit. Color is important, very, but if you plant the wrong size crepe myrtle in the wrong place, you'll be spending a lot of time trying to maintain these fairly low maintenance trees. They can be smaller in stature and can be used as ground cover or shrub with a range from about 18 inches to up to four to five feet tall. Or they may start reaching for the sky in a range of about six feet to 20 feet tall. Crepe myrtles may grow with a wide reaching canopy or an upright vase form. They may be mounding, spreading, or weeping, depending on the variety. You can allow them to grow in a natural state and not bother with pruning at all, or you can choose to prune them from the bottom up for a more manicured tree look. This will require pruning out the suckers that sprout from the base of the plant, along with a few select trunks also cut to the base. For a tree form like this one pictured, it would be best to avoid purchasing sprawling forms of crepe myrtles. You'll have to work a lot at shaping it. You can see on this crepe myrtle where the tree has been shaped by removing some lower limbs as well, opening up the area under the canopy. Warning, some viewers may find the following images disturbing. You may want to hide your eyes. Oh, the horror, the butchering. <laughs> Crepe murder continues to take place around the city. This hacking off the tops pruning method does nothing to improve your plant. Topping off crepe myrtles will make bark look unsightly and only ends up producing weaker, more straggly limbs that may struggle under the heavy weight of summer blooms. Crepe myrtle bark is seriously beautiful. It becomes super smooth with a gorgeous grain, but if you keep hacking away at it, it looks gnarled and scarred. If you are not training your crepe myrtle into a tree by removing lower limbs, the only pruning that may be needed is the removal of limbs that are crossing over each other and rubbing against each other. Optional pruning is removing the distal blooms and seed heads once they have dried up, but it is not mandatory. For the love of crepe myrtles, stop committing crepe murder! Okay, let's shake that horrible sight off and move on to something much more pleasant. It's what we really love about crepe myrtles anyway, color! <laughs> Whatever color you are interested in, make a plan to come in during the summertime to see the blooms for yourself. Crepe myrtles come in many varieties and each one has its own distinct hue. Purple doesn't mean just purple when it comes to crepe myrtles. It may mean a lovely lavender or a deep magenta. Pink is no longer just pink. Look for shades of hot pink, watermelon pink, and cotton candy pink. If crisp linen or billowy clouds are your thing, white-hued crepe myrtles may just be the pick for you. Is scarlet red or deep crimson red your favorite? The hummingbirds won't care which one you pick. It's not only bloom color that you get to choose from, Many crepe myrtles push out brilliant fall foliage color before they drop their leaves for winter. Some crepe myrtles don't have to wait until fall for colorful foliage and they offer it right out of the gate. 
there truly can be a crepe myrtle for everyone's aesthetic. Here's a little behind the scenes look at some of our crew potting up crepe myrtles for next spring. Don't buy these yet as they are freshly potted and not rooted at all. We have plenty more mature plants available for fall planting this year. We hope you've learned a lot today. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye bye.